Well, our next guest is on a mission to disrupt the mental health care system. Community Wellness Ventures is a D.C.-based human service agency providing mental health clinics, disability services, and so much more. And joining us now is Charlene Haling williams the president and co-founder of Community Wellness Ventures. Uh, so great to have you on this morning. What was the inspiration behind starting this business, and how has it had to adapt during the pandemic? Good morning. The inspiration is really our community and the pervasive needs that have just begun to sort of enter the mainstream in terms of discussion around systemic oppression, but they've been ever present. And so our shared commitment as president and CEO and partners, um, my partner, Dr. Rod Williams and I, um, have long had a shared commitment for improving the conditions of our community and providing services that work in a high quality fashion. How critical uh, has a PPP loan been to your business during these really unprecedented times? So as you asked, how have we sort of had to pivot? And that's the key word I think for everyone in 2020 is pivoting. And so our business has had to shift to a mostly telehealth model. And we're grateful as healthcare professionals to be able to provide many of our services um, via platforms such as this. However, um, the PPP loan was able to allow us to still continue to grow the workforce, to um, expand our reach in ways that we can't typically right now because we we are usually in the community doing outreach and things like that. So um, we built our infrastructure quite a bit around systems integration and some other creative ways by using online platforms um, to expand. But it's important to note that it's just the beginning. And that's what we're really beginning to see. You know, that was late spring and we're definitely in this for the long haul. So the question becomes, you know, what now? You spent so much of your career um, as a counseling psychologist. How has that influenced the work that you do now? I will always be a counseling psychologist. It's really <laughs> who I am and what I believe. And that's illustrated by you know the fact that psychologists really take care to benefit the lives of the people we're privileged to serve and most importantly, do no harm. And once again, in the current social context, if we could all adopt that model, of, of simply being a benefit to those who we encounter and most importantly, not do any harm to them, right? Um, that could just be at the very basis of, or, of what it is that we could contribute to society at large. And so that is um, the heart of the matter. And then I'm a scientist practitioner. I really believe in results and um, making sure that we're not just throwing things at the wall in low income communities to see what sticks, but instead, really focusing on outcomes and being skilled and um, again, providing high quality services that people so deserve. On that topic of just actually seeing results, what do you think needs to be done in order to break down systemic barriers and meet this growing mental health need of the communities that you serve? So there are a few things, conversations such as this, taking the time to just open the dialogue shift the paradigm around this sort of farce or an idea that um, mental health equals mental illness. Mental health is really something for all of us. The idea that we must all have that checkup from the neck up, right? And focus on the ways that we think, act, and feel. But most importantly, the ways that systems have historically and currently targeted communities that are more vulnerable in ways that impact their abilities to thrive. And that's been documented for decades, but now we're beginning to pay attention. And so expanding the conversation and then putting some real meat on the bones in terms of strategies and engaging partners such as Community Wellness Ventures and, and many others who have done this work well, but having us at the table when we're trying to enact policy changes, distribute funds and resources to communities, really understanding that essential piece of us moving this country forward and advancing the conversation has to be centered around behavioral health and wellness. I, I've never heard that, a checkup from the neck up. I love that. Um, I think I might use that in my life uh, going forward. 
Uh, really quickly, we are almost out of time, but wondering if you have any advice for other female founders that are out there um, during these really challenging times. Absolutely. Hone in on your purpose. Stand upright and strong on, our, on your beliefs and confidence, knowing that you can and will do exactly what you set out to do. And build that network. Really lean in on other female and male partners who can help to further your mission. It has to be mission driven and purpose driven. And when I, I believe when you are really key and um, keying in on who you are and what you believe, you'll go far. Great advice. Charlene Haling Williams, president and co-founder of Community Wellness Ventures. So great to have you on.